Welcome back to our channel We Clean for Free and welcome back to another installment of We Clean Wednesdays. We Clean Wednesdays are where we upload a full video. Today's video is part one of a four part series. In this video we'll be focusing on the living room. We were contacted by a young couple who lived in a flat with their two dogs and they were in desperate need of some support. During the initial contact the young couple were quite embarrassed by the state of their home and said that they would understand if we were unable to help them. However, that's not the case. We would never want to leave anybody in a situation that they were in and not offer as much support as we could. Following the initial visit, we had to purchase masks to help reduce the level of odour that we were being exposed to, as well as footwear covers. As you'll be able to see throughout the video, there was a lot of dog faecal matter on the floor. We think the occupiers have become nose blind to the odours that were in the flat but we can honestly say that they were overwhelming and eye-watering at times and very difficult to handle. We felt very sad that the young couple were living in such conditions and really felt compelled to help them as much as we could. We think that we were only there for a short time, but they had to live there. So that's where we come in. And we're off to a good start. There's faecal matter on the table. And it quickly becomes apparent that the dogs have been used in the whole of the flat as a toilet. There was only one small bin in the bathroom in the entire flat and it was clear to see that any rubbish had just been left lying around and eventually made its way to the floor and had piled up in some places. There was lots of clutter that had accumulated in the living room um, it had become contaminated with dog urine, dry feces. The owners had already said um, if there was anything that we needed to throw away, then we just had the full go ahead to do that. So that made it a little bit easier. This dressing gown was quite wet and had lots of like dry bits of dog poo coming off it so it was one of those things that just went straight into the bin, there was no point saving it to be honest. What you don't get to see in this part of the video is that my wife is actually cleaning up another part of the living room but as we only have 
um, one camera, it's it's a little bit more tricky to kind of film both of us doing different things. There are reasons why this has happened and it does appear really bad and we can appreciate how it may appear on camera too but we can talk about that a bit later on in the video. We weren't quite sure what was in the mop bucket but the smell was pretty intense. It was very dark very slimy and as you can see it just it doesn't look very nice at all we did clean out the mop bucket it did take some time but the clients were more than happy to purchase new mop heads and, and anything else that we needed so they were really really grateful and really helpful in that respect
I was really grateful to have the foot protectors because anywhere I was stepping was stepping in dog nests. At this point we started putting back the remaining stuff that hadn't been thrown away in order to get to other parts of the living room and do the same process. So here's a little bit more about the couple, as I'd said earlier in the video. This is from what they'd wrote to us. The reason our home got out of our control is mainly due to ongoing and quite bad depression, where I couldn't get out of bed and do anything for myself. Then, when I came out of it, I was extremely overwhelmed and couldn't bring myself to do anything about it, so it made me feel trapped. Unfortunately, sometimes depression visualises itself on our surroundings, and that's what happened. I think for us, from We Clean For Free, it was a shock, and it's definitely something that we hadn't dealt with before. We, ha we do deal with a lot of clients that suffer from mental health problems, um, including depression and anxiety, but for it to manifest itself like this was something we haven't come across. I think it's eye-opening and it's a bit of an education for us and the wider audience because when we think about depression we quite often think about somebody being a bit teary, maybe staying in their bed, disengaging, um, maybe the house getting a bit messy on top of them. We don't necessarily visualise what we dealt with here. So it's no judgement on them, I was glad that we were able to help them, we both were. It was upsetting at times for both of us to realise that such a young couple with potential had been living like this and the young woman was been unable to access the living room. It was sad but it was it was nice to help them.
We're over by the sofa area now and our goal was to make a nice space for the occupiers to sit in later on. The young woman that lived there hadn't been accessing the living room for quite a few months as she felt overwhelmed by all the mess. On top of the fridge there were some chilled items that either weren't stored in the fridge or just forgotten about, I'm not quite sure, but they were quite rancid. Um, even the cream that was on the top had turned black, so not quite sure how long it had been there. There were some chicken and burgers, but very watery, so we just kind of had to throw them away.
The young man that lived here liked building models. One of the ones he built was a Titanic, it was really nice. However, over a period of time, there was accumulation of dead flies, probably as a result of the dog faecal matter on the floor. There was quite a few dead flies on there, I had problems kind of sweeping them off, they were sticking to the brush and things, but managed to get them all in the end, as you can see there's quite a few here. This was day two, we managed to get eight bin bags on this day and the previous day it was ten. There was still a fair bit to do so we needed to get them out of the way. Um, also on the right hand side you'll notice there's a new sofa, they had this delivered and we had to kind of work around that so what, that's why it took a little bit longer. We had to mop the floor and kind of soak it with some hot bleach water. There was lots of dried excrement and some tape and stuff that was on the floor that we just needed to get rid of. The residents stayed out because of asthma so it was just easier to kind of get through it all like this.
This was the first time we'd used the squeegee mark that was just easier to get all the watery excrement into like one place and just get rid of it in one go really. As you can see it's pretty rough down there but we did manage to get it all up in the end. I think in the end it did take us three or four mops altogether but this was obviously the first pass through. But obviously we didn't show you all of them because it would have been quite boring <laughs> to watch so.
Coming up in the next weekly and Wednesday is the hallway and the bathroom. This is part two of four, so hopefully you'll enjoy them. We'd like to take a, a small section of the people that have followed, so a thanks to Liz, Zoe, Victoria, Derek, Siobhan, Linda, Leia, Phil, Anna, Maydell, Loretta and Alida. Thank you. A massive thank you for all the comments and likes and shares. We really do love reading them. We love interacting with you all. Um, so thank you again and look forward to seeing you in the new video.